Whoa. Update on Otani's impending free agency. We got to talk about uh, this is Showtime here, our little Showtime mm-hmm. segment. One MLB executive, or excuse me, MLB executives and agents and insiders and everybody else who cares, they're all saying that Otani should get and likely will get $524 million. That's a lot okay. of tortillas. Hold- <laughs> Show enough. <laughs> uh, Brad, the question I have for you is, is that too much? Is it not enough? Where do you stand I don't, on that? I don't think it's enough. No. I mean, I've said it before. I've, I'll, I've said it before. I'll say it again. And you got to look at Otani as two different players. He is a pitcher and he is a hitter. He is a dominant MVP caliber pitcher, a dominant MVP caliber DH. Yeah. What would you pay that level of pitcher? What would you pay that level of DH? If you're looking 300 million each, you got to pay him $600 million. You're getting a discount at 524. In fact, you're probably getting a discount at, at 600. Even if you're thinking, okay, 350 for the hitter, 300 for the pitcher, 600 million is still going to be a discount. Because yeah. you're you're going out and you're getting two elite players on the free agent market, like you have to pony up. I think I think at bare minimum five fifty is going to be the mark. Wow, that's incredible. That's what I would walk into a room and say is five fifty. If you don't want to give me that, I'll go somewhere else and get it. Which I know doesn't really feel, fit feel like it fits Otani's personality, but he certainly could. You know, well, he's worth it. It's just going to be a matter of does his people. Does his people, do his people care enough to swing the big hammer and get him what he's worth? Because I agree that's what he's worth. Shoot. (laughs) I agree that's what he's worth. The problem is, what other things does he value maybe more than money? Well, and so they, that's one of the things that's crazy too, is the money that he generates off the field. Like, I think, I, I think they said that he brings in like 30, what was it, like 300 million or something like that a year yeah. off the field? Yeah, that was Is last year's projected earnings just off his merch. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So his merch sales alone are going to pay for him. You you go out yeah. and you get him and you just deal with it because he's going to, he's going to pay it back in multiples, right? Oh, yeah. Those dividends are coming back hard. Yeah. So. I don't think you worry about what he wants. I think you pay it up because you're going to get it back. Anyway, the question now is, um, who's going to pony up the dough? And do who's going to run up the price? <laughs> because we've seen Steve Cohen, who's absolutely willing to throw figures around and bring anybody on mm, for just about any yeah. price and whatever. And he'll just throw numbers at you, and that will run up the score, as it were, on the rest of the league to try and be able to... to you know, match. And that's going to really put a damper on his abilities to go to a more middle market team like Seattle. That's going to be tough. It would. Um, but like, I don't know. Cause I don't care if I mentioned this to you or if it was, or if I was talking to Jewel that like, we both kind of complained a little bit that the Mariners didn't spend a lot of money this off season that, it, and it's like, and I understand, like you can't force free agents to come to your team, but they didn't even make offers, right? Like they just they just sat on their hands during the winter meetings. They didn't really do anything. And I wonder if it was one of those things where they're like, mm, "We got a good team right now, but the one we want is next year, so we don't want to dedicate too much money, yeah, that off season because we got to we kind of got to save if we're going to be making an offer, a competitive offer to Otani." And so I wonder if that's kind of how that came in but i feel like anybody who's got any money at all can offer otani because like i said they're going to make the money back anyway yeah that's true it'll be interesting to see how it goes we're going to pay attention we'll keep you updated baseball family as things progress 